Hello students, I am Dr. Tanmay Vishash. I welcome you all in my channel Chemistry, the Mystery of Molecules. Today's topic of discussion is on allylic alcohol on its multiple steps reaction. You can see four steps. So you have to say what is the major product of this reaction and for this purpose four options are provided in front of you. So you have to say what is the right answer and I shall be very happy if you pause the video, try by yourself and whatever answer you get please write in the comment box along with few words as explanation and don't worry after some time you'll get the right answer with proper explanation. Now I believe you have tried by yourself it's my turn to give you the right answer. Student this molecule is pretty simple actually it has three main functional group one is actually this hydroxyl or alkyl alcohol one is double bond and another this vinyl carbon bromine bond. So generally I suggest you student that look at the first step what is this demanding then it's a little helpful to understand. So if you look at this reagent this is trimethyl silyl chloride and triethylamine this is silylation or silyl ether preparation of alcohol. I have already discussed many dedicated lectures on this topic you may visit for better understanding. Now so as I told this first step is the silyl ether formation means OSI ME3 bond formation and by the way actually see here one chloro and from here one hydrogen is eliminated which will ultimately form this HCl and which is quenched by this triethyl amine. So that is the importance or role of this trimethylamine, triethylamine in this reaction. Now in the second step, second step is actually metallic magnesium is provided in dry THF. So what is this condition? Obviously there is a vinyl carbon bromine bond there. So it will undergo reaction with this metallic magnesium to produce this Grignard reagent or this vinyl magnesium bromide Grignard reagent. And actually this reagent, this Grignard is nucleophilic because it's carbonyl in nature and it can react with electrophiles like aldehyde because aldehyde has this carbon oxygen double bond which is actually electrophilic in nature. So this is the electrophilic center. So obviously this both electrophile and nucleophile will react together and ultimately it will produce a secondary alcohol because reaction of Grignard with aldehyde apart from formaldehyde results in secondary alcohol derivative obviously after workup. So first step is this is OMGBR. So in the next step what will happen this OMGBR will be quenched or converted into corresponding allyl alcohol derivative. Actually obviously this is a secondary alcohol too. Now the next step is actually silyl ether depression by the way. So this is dilute acetic acid is responsible for this uh, I mean workup okay. Now a simple question you may have there sir why allyl alcohol didn't undergo protonation followed by dehydration because generally we have seen this allyl alcohol are prone for elimination. It's true student whatever you have learned this right but remember one thing that for protonation followed by elimination stronger acid is required and in this case what is used dilute acetic acid itself acetic acid is weaker and additionally it is diluted so it is not stronger enough to carry out that reaction that's why reaction will stop here. Now in the next step this tetrabutyl ammonium fluoride reaction will happen. Now student if you look at this tetrabutyl ammonium fluoride this tetrabutyl ammonium fluoride reagent has two roles. one it can act as a phase transfer catalyst second it is a fluoride source and what is the role of this fluoride? This fluoride will do a nucleophilic attack on silicon and this silyl ether will be deprotected to the corresponding alcohol and obviously here allyl alcohol. So this is the product so this is the final product. Now step wise if we discuss so first step is actually this prime allyl alcohol protection using TMSCL triethyl amine. I have already discussed a dedicated lecture. Second is Grignard reagent preparation from vinyl bromide. I have already discussed dedicated lecture on it. Now by the way you think there is a vinyl bromide, magnesium in dry THF, no heating. Yes student remember if reagent is vinyl chloride that time heating is needed because this carbon chlorine bond is significantly stronger due to partial double bond character but in case of carbon bromine bond 
the extent of this partial double bond is reduced because of improper matching of orbitals between carbon and bromine because carbon belongs to the second row bromine belongs to the fourth row so this bond is pretty weaker so that's why at room temperature it could be activated and converted into vinyl magnesium bromide and this third step is the nucleophilic addition on aldehyde to produce the secondary alcohol and fourth step is silyl deprotection to get the alcohol back in presence of tetral butyl ammonium fluoride now what is the answer obviously this dialyl alcohol option d is the right answer and by the way if this question appeared in your exam less than 30 seconds how could you solve so by the way student in this context since it's multiple step reaction you need to understand few things that what that first two reaction is doing so first step is trimethyl silyl chloride and trithyl i mean obviously silyl ether protection of this alcohol it's gone it's blocked second step this is actually a grignard formation actually i suggest to you for this problem you should go step wise steps are easy if you do proper practice you can do very fast less than 60 seconds less than 30 seconds so it's a magnesium uh, obviously this magnesium bromide is grignard derivative later on aldehyde electrophile obviously then secondary alcohol so one side will be secondary alcohol it's true and third step is acetic acid means work up and tbf means this silyl protection will be deprotected so obviously both side will be allyl alcohol so this is the product so which option is possible obviously D. so in this case student actually no heating is provided during this reaction so option a is gone so no oxidant is provided actually grignard reagent or metallic magnesium is reducing but not oxidizing so any carbonyl formation possible and only option d is left so from this back calculation point of view also you can come up to the right answer but i suggest you if you do a little more study and a little more practice you can come up to the right answer very soon very easily now in conclusion what you have learned today that this trimethyl silyl chloride or tmscl is a selective alcohol protection agent and alcohol is actually protected by the silyl ether derivative formation because the silyl ether actually are stable in presence of reducing agent or base like metallic magnesium which produces the vinyl magnesium bromide as nucleophile and in this context it doesn't react with this silicon oxygen bond and the exceptional stability of silicon oxygen bond is because of the stronger sigma bond between silicon oxygen and additionally one d pi p pi back bonding back p pi from oxygen because it has filled 2p two lone pairs and silicon has vacant d orbital which can accept that electron pair to its vacant d orbital and that's why the bond between silicon oxygen is significantly stronger and in this context remember that lignard reagent react with aldehyde to produce secondary alcohol but it should be for instance any aldehyde apart from formaldehyde and here another point please remember that allyl alcohol can undergo dehydration easily but for that conversion weak acid is not effective or sufficient enough not only that you need add heating additionally to carry out such reaction i mean elimination reaction okay so this is the end of this question i believe this video will be useful i thank you everyone for watching this video and if you really enjoyed my content and if you consider the channel my channel is worthy then please help this channel to grow so stay happy stay blessed see you in my next video bye bye